transitions us into our scripture of the week related to sports right here. And this is a clip that you can see each and every single week on our YouTube, on our Church on the Rock YouTube page. And uh, again, uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can watch the 4th and 10 Christian Sports Show every single Wednesday from 10.30 a.m. to 11.50. And uh, today we're going to be talking about God, Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals, that God is our healer. And our scripture of the week is actually going to be found in the Old Testament in the book of Exodus chapter 15 verses 26 through or 22 through 26 a bit longer passage but i think it's important to say so this is they're talking about moses and i want to read this to you here again exodus 15 uh, verses 22 through 26 says then moses made israel set out for the red sea and they went into the wilderness of Shear. they went three days into the wilderness and found no water and when they came to Moreh, they could not drink the water of Moreh because it was bitter. Go so all right. So put your put yourself in your shoes here. It's easy just to read through scripture and then just a whatever and not think about it. Imagine not having water for a few days. You would be very thirsty, and then you finally get to a place that has water and it's bitter and it's not good to drink. And so as bad as you want to drink it, you can't. So these people were getting frustrated. They're with Moses. Okay, well, here we are going. We're supposed to go in the promised land. We're going out in the wilderness, and this is happening. Um, of course, as this happened, in verse 24, it says, And the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried to the Lord, and, he, and the Lord showed him a log, and he threw it into the water, and the water became sweet. So God did a miracle right there. He <laughs> threw the log in there, the, made the water okay, the and then the, the water became sweet. There the Lord made for them a statue and a rule, and there he, was, he tested them, saying, If you will diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes and give to his commandment and all his statues, I will put none of these diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians for I am the Lord your healer he goes on to say that he is the Lord our healer um, the Bible describes God as Jehovah Rapha the, who uh, again means the God that heals more than 60 times in the Bible Jehovah means God and Rapha means to restore you know the God who restores to heal or to make healthy in Exodus 15, 26, he, he mentioned being the healer. He was, and in that, it was the, the translation of Jehovah Rapha. God promised moments in the people of Israel, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you will pay attention to his commands and keep in all degrees, I will not bring any of these diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Healer is an, an um, integral part of God's character. Yeah, God cares for every one of our health, your physical health, your mental and emotional health as well. Not just your physical health, but your well-being as well as your spiritual uh, vitality. When you understand that God is Jehovah Rapha, the great physician, we recognize that no healing happens apart from him. Only he can provide lasting healing from our brokenness. So oftentimes we, we want the healing without the dealing. But God has to deal with with the source of our of our pain kind of like you know you know i'm not like a, you know i don't play cards or a poker player but you got to have a good deal you got to have good cards in your hands you got to let god is i've never heard it quite that way god with we want the healing without the dealing you want god to deal the right cards the rejection of hurt or perhaps the betrayal to heal us our healer has never and will never jesus still does miracles um it says in Malachi 3, 6, that for I am the Lord that did not change. Therefore, you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Um, and then it goes on to say, let's see, that the gospel, he worked through ancient Israel's laws to protect them from disease. The gospel is the physical, moral, and spiritual remedy for all people. Because in Christ, we have eternal life, the, God, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, connection with God. Um, when you think about your overall health, what can you begin to give God today for healing? You know, what what is it that, that you need to hand over to God? You know, cause is it your health? Is it a certain thing? Is it your, you know, you know, I could give over to God my heart and my heart situation, continue to improve on that, you, you know, improve on the situation, something that's been bothering you, something that's hurting or aches or pains. 
And number secondly, what are you grateful, God, to God regarding your health today? You know, I'm grateful for being here, for God allowing me to to be healthier, for losing weight, for being able to walk around and to, to have life and not be in the hospital. There's so many things that, that we can be grateful for there on that. And, of course, uh, looking at, you know, Jehovah Rapha you, 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 and, and the different things, he says that I am the Lord who heals you. He says literally, I am Jehovah Rapha, meaning the God who heals you. But that was a long time ago, Christ suggesting that God no longer does these things today. But that's not course. Of course, God is still our Jehovah Rapha. He's still our healers. Uh, he heals the sick, the brokenhearted, the spiritually wrecked. He just spoke the word and it happened. Yes, you say, but it was God. The disciples also believed that God answered prayer and healed the sick. Peter and John confronted a cripple at the gate, beautiful in the temple area. Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but I've given you in the name of Jesus Christ, walk. And that was in Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Simply, often very poor believers in China also believe that Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, is still in business. Time doesn't allow me telling first-hand reports and about the simple fervent prayers. Cancer has dried up just as it can, just as it did with, with uh, Marcus Cannon. Dried up shining faces of joyful Christians. Oh, God gave deliverance from his enemies, destined to put them in prison. Oh, then, why don't you see me more of this today? The following story may answer the question. Today's commentary is a reminder that God is still Jehovah Rapha. And whether you're in a hospital, an African hut, a Russian village, a heart of a great city, God is still in the healing business of bringing healing and health to our lives and souls. Thank God some things never change. It says also in Hebrews 13, 7, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. All right, well, that is our scripture of the week. We're relying on the sports you know, I just pray if there's anything, any healing you need in your body, don't be afraid to go to God. Stand in faith mm -hmm. and believe that God can heal you and do miraculous things. All right, well, we 